So it's November 9th and I'm in California here and it's crazy what's going on now. These fires, there's two major fires in California. The governor has declared state of emergency and usually you read about the news, you know, but to actually experience it start. firsthand. I mean, I was up in the North Bay and I visited some of the places where the worst destruction in Santa Rosa was. The Kofi Park neighborhood that was completely destroyed, essentially. Now, since yesterday, there's been just smoke everywhere. So I wanted to just say something about this fire because it's happening up here in the North Bay. It's called the Camp Fire. And then down in uh, Southern California, it's called the Woolsey Fire. You know, there's already been 70,000 acres destroyed in the past 24 hours, and it's only 5% contained. I think it's really scary if people in California are facing this new threat that every year there's massive wildfires. I think it's just a big issue that people think they're not affected by it, but now even with the smoke coming into this area, I was in Oakland and there was smoke everywhere. It seemed like there was some kind of fire going on. So. That's actually how I found out about this. Then later by the evening, I saw the news about it. It's crazy. People should, you know, uh, everyone's talking about vote. I think now it's like be a firefighter or try to fireproof your property because there's a lot of dead plants, things that dry up, and there's a certain amount of money that needs to be invested uh, by property owners and cities to clear up the brush and the type of uh, zones that can uh, lead to fires. And the other crazy thing is there's evidence showing that PG&E might have been responsible as they have been before, blamed for some of these major fires in the past couple of years. So, you know, sad to see utility companies creating this type of havoc and catastrophe and uh, natural disaster that is actually man-made problems. So. I just wanted to make a video about this thing that's happening right now. There's smoke everywhere today. I was outside and uh, it wasn't as bad as in the East Bay because East Bay, like Oakland, is much closer. The fires are in like the Chico area, which is kind of near Sacramento. And uh, so it's really a big issue and uh, just something people should look out for because I think this could happen anywhere. And the, for the most part, it happened in Santa Rosa and you know the wine country, and it's becoming a bigger problem. So there needs to be a lot of um, design or um, kind of retrofitting properties to uh, have different kinds of protection against fires. Like I said, clearing brush and cutting back trees in certain areas, and water as well, you know, storing water, creating reservoirs. There's ways to irrigate and uh, reduce the dryness that makes these fires spread easily. So uh, there's a lot of things to do and I'm hoping that uh, on the one side it's possible, you know, since I was young, I thought <clears throat> maybe one day being a fireman could be a cool job, get physically fit, get you know, help this problem, but I think I'm more interested to work on the fire problem through uh, landscaping and kind of uh, these garden type of ways to care for uh, properties, to, you know, land, um, groundskeeping, because there's a lot of stuff that can be done on a single property that can protect that property and help prevent fires from spreading. So yeah, I'm hoping I can get some jobs like that that are fireproofing property. And so it's kind of an issue I care about or wish I could do something about. So yeah, stay safe. And uh, you know, if you're in these evacuation area, it's, uh, you know, I'm feel bad for all the people that are f struggling from this. I mean, the craziest thing about the Southern California fire is like people that were affected by the shooting that just happened in Thousand Oaks, they're, also, some of those people are having to evacuate from this. So I think it's something that uh, there's two main issues in California I see right now, you know, the housing crisis and this fire crisis. So 
I hope that people in California can join together and I just get a desire to talk about uh, these issues and kind of hopefully get the ball rolling on some kind of efforts to try to work towards these problems and I hope other people do the same. So uh, try to help out if you can. These people, there's ways online, Facebook has some tools like these crisis response things. You can offer supplies or uh, you can get supplies or resources. It's possible, like if you're near these places, go on there, try to help, help out. And yeah, the fire thing and the housing thing are very connected because every year people are losing their houses and so to fires. So there's people that are homeless and then there's people that are losing their house. And so there's a lot of people in California that are needing homes, needing housing. So these are issues that uh, are important to me and I hope you also understand why they're important and help me in this journey to create some solutions for housing that can benefit people that have lost their homes in disaster, they need housing for a couple months, a couple of years, you know, or long term, even longer than that. So uh, I hope that we can create some change and help stop these fires and what we can't stop, try to help take care of the people that are affected by it. So uh, yeah, let's try to unite California. We're always saying this is the best state and stuff like that. So if we're such a great place, we should help each other and help stop problems that are affecting everybody. Um, because it doesn't matter, you know, we tend to be an individualist society, but when there's massive problems that are affecting everybody, then it doesn't matter who you are or what you have or don't have. The point is it affects everybody. It's a danger for everybody. So we should help solve these problems. And so, uh, thanks for, you know, watching and I'll check back in some other time soon. All right. Thanks. Bye.